Hey everyone, um, I think I'm ready to maybe commit to a planner and I wanted to show you some planner Kate stuff that I picked up for this. She has a slew of Bold Blooms specific sheets and obviously they coordinate perfectly with the Erin Condren Bold Blooms colorway. And I'm just going to say that maybe, maybe this is going to be my Erin Condren planner starting here in July. I've done a lot of planner playing in June, planned out a bunch of different um, layouts, tried different things. And I think that I want to go back to my roots and go back to a vertical layout. So... Um, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the new Planner Kate goodies that I think will work perfectly in this planner. So one of those are Sheets V74, and they are headers for the Bold Blooms Monthly. And obviously they color coordinate. So July is this kind of heather pink mauve color getting technical here making up color names but the thing with the bold blooms is that i think that it's gorgeous i love the pops of the colorway that aaron conjured included but if you're using like a planner kate kit let me just show you like let's just pretend i wanted to use this it's going to be really hard to cover up all of the bold blooms elements because it is so prominent on the month view. So while I will be using this planner and I think it'll be easy to cover up like these headers for the week view and use whatever kit I want, I think I'm really going to just leave it as a true bold blooms colorway for my month view. But of course I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. So I wanted to test out these monthly stickers from Planner Kate and kind of see what it's gonna look like. I don't know that I am going, oops, I'm using the wrong color. I don't know that I'm gonna do a full plan with me because it is so early but I definitely wanted to start sticker testing to see which stickers I'm going to need for my planning. Okay, so this doesn't go all the way across. I'm going to center it on the page, maybe. So we have that strip and then we can put down the day of the week stickers over. I'm also considering making this a Monday start. I think I'm going to. I am using a day designer for my daily planner and it has a Monday start and I do prefer a Monday start. And since I have these stickers and the date dots to make that work, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me put down these day of the week headers and then we'll chat. All right, I think that looks beautiful it adds just a little bit more to the page and i like planner kate's font choices and now since i'm doing this as a monday start i'm going to use the date dots to redate all of these and it looks like july 1st is on a monday just wanted to double check even though that's obviously right there in front of me but i tend to mess things up if I don't double check. So let's put these down and then we'll get back to it. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like if you would just get this one sheet and add the strip headers and the date dots. 
Again, you could make this a Thursday start if you wanted to, but I did make mine a Monday start. Everything coordinates perfectly. That's such a good match. I knew Kate would do a great job with the color matching. Okay, this is definitely not going to be a full monthly plan with me. My objective of this video was really just to show you um, what stickers are gonna work on this Bold Blooms Monthly because I feel like it could be a little tricky. But I do want to maybe look at a couple of these options from her listings. All of them are gonna fit in here because they're like the standard one and a half inch width stickers. And there are just so many options. Why don't I do this? Why don't I just flip through here? These are the V listings. So if you like any of them, go to the V listing, choose the number that you see here. So 79 would be these ripped washi strips. And then you can pick your colorway and for the most most part drop down G is going to be your bold blooms. So we have 22 here which are some larger scallops. 18 are the dots, 19 we have the older appointment style, 21 smaller scallops, 31 are the solid labels, 20 are the skinny scallops. 33, we have the two-tone boxes, white overlay flags for sheet 32, 35 are canceled stickers, 36 are the skinny dash labels, 73 are a full sheet of date dots, 29 are individual checklists, we have some full box habit trackers for 23, 24, and 25. And then 26 is your full box ombre sheet. Sheet 34 are your mini time labels. Solid flags for sheet 30. Individual trackers are V13. And then V78 are the brush stroke off the journaling sheets. So depending on what you prefer, obviously a lot of these are going to work. Let's just put down a few things. Again, not a full monthly plan with me, just so we can see what these look like. My husband is on call the first weekend here, and I'm going to use the washi off of the side of the sticker sheet to mark that. And then we have dentist appointments on the 9th, so that would give me uh, like an appointment of sorts to show you. And I did want to use sheet 19 for that. I think I'll stay with the color coordinating and kind of the monochromatic look and do the same July color here. And we'll put these down and see what they look like on the month view. Now, of course, you could use all of these on your weekly planning pages and your bold blooms planner as well okay so that was a very quick look at the new or at least some of the new bold blooms items from planner kate um my plan is to continue this for the whole planner like i said so i don't have to worry about trying to cover up any of the colorway and it'll be really consistent and beautiful to flip through once all the months are done um, let me know if you guys have questions and I'll see you back next time. <music>